In certain cases, you need to use the same template multiple times, or maybe your colleagues or your team needs to uh, use the same template every time again and again. And you don't want to go through the hassle of adding merge fields or sorry, form fields onto the document every time again and again. In that case, you can just work with templates, with a template library. A template library is managed in Salesforce. So if you go here to files, and I will open this in a new tab. Go to libraries, then you can create a library uh, like this one over here. The library has to start with the name Sign Butler, uh, Sign Butler Templates that is required. And then you can, after that, you can specify your own specific name. In here, I have already added a certain uh, document. You can just add a new document by clicking here, Add Files. And these documents will be available for selecting as templates. Now, let's take a look at the sign manual sign request. If I open up my templates over here, you see that my document is directly there that I want to select. Oh, sorry, the library is there I want to select. I select my library. I can have multiple, of course, and depending on the sharing rules that you set in Salesforce on these libraries, uh, you can actually indicate which teams should um, uh, should see certain libraries and which teams can't see certain libraries. So I add my document and then I continue with filling in this, uh, this information. As you can see, the form fields are already there. The only thing I have to do is add a signer. So I'm going to add my signing place holder, holder right over here. If you want to add other labels, text fields, date fields, checkboxes, any other kind of information, that's not a problem. Uh, I can, for instance, say I want to add the uh, the current user uh, full uh, full name. Sorry, the full name of the current user over here. Uh, that is perfectly possible. All of that can be still be done, uh, but then uh, next to that, the form fields that are already there are already displayed, obviously. Let's continue. I will do this um, PDF from a library. Okay, I'm going to select a certain uh, template and then I'm going to uh, send it out to somebody to sign. Here, I'm just going to send it out to myself. And then I create the sign request. So when the sign request is created, and that goes rather quickly, then uh, of course my um, my recipient will receive an email, as you can see over here. For demo purposes, uh, I will not open the email, but I'm just quickly going to go through the shortcuts that we have here for demo purposes, and then we open up the sign request. There were fields previously defined on the PDF, and you can see that they are all there. Uh, also, the name that I've added is right here, and the uh, signing placeholder is also positioned nicely on top of the uh, PDF that was uh, set out for signing. Now, let's say that I want to uh, not fill in any fields, then I want to send out this document. It will still say a validation error on all of these fields because they are set to required. So you can actually predefine the form fields and indicate some validation that is required on these form fields. Adding these form fields can be done with any type of tool like PDF Escape or um, PDF Writer in, uh, in Adobe, from Adobe. So let me fill in this uh, information. Then I fill in my own name over here. Uh, I'm the founder. And this is uh, my address. So, okay, just a quick shortcut. And then let me sign it again. And now there is no validation, obviously. So I will just now uh, continue with uh, signing this uh, document. All signed. So the document is now signed. So if I would refresh over here and I would go out and check the signed document, you would see that this document is signed. Uh, my name is there, but more, uh, more important, all the information that I filled previously is uh, also there. 